Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. So excited. Today I am planning the week of Monday, February 24th to Sunday, March 1st in my Erin Codron Vertical Neutral. I do have the binder version, which is exactly the same as the coil bound just in the binder. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I've started moving pages of finished spread to over to my cloud. I'm gonna stick with the Erin Codron inserts and use them all up, but I am in the process of migrating over to my cloud and I will officially debut my cloud once uh, the setup is finished for that and I'm able to kind of film that as well. Um, but anyway, that's not why I'm so excited this week. I am so excited this week because this is baby week. I had my baby on Thursday, uh, February February 27th. I am not pregnant. While I am filming this, my little nugget is napping in the room with me. I am just so over the moon. I have this kit from Scribble Prints Co. It's called Baby Mine. I've got like a bunch of extra full boxes. I am really excited to be using this. I was saving this for baby week and um, it worked out so perfectly. So anyway, I'm just really excited as you can imagine, <laughs> but I did miss, really miss being in my planner and I was like really looking forward to a good nap where I could, you know, get some planning in. Um, anyway, these are the full boxes that came with the kit. Uh, this is the mini kit. I usually just have the mini kit and then I get like the add-ons for it. So these are all what you get. Um, the really plain bottom washi little date covers. Um, and then I do have the family boxes. So if you don't know, uh, I, in addition to the baby I just had, I have a daughter and a son. So perfect, perfect little family box situation for me. So I definitely wanted to use, um, to get those. And then I did get the, the label sheet and the glitter headers as well. So I'm going to pull out my pages and go ahead and jump in. So I'm getting started with these date covers. They're from my newest addiction. They were in the giveaway bags at Define and Flourish, but I just thought they were so cute and matched the pink in the kit so perfectly. So I decided to use them and just add a little bit more color into the spread because the, uh, the date covers in the kit were gray and I just wanted to bring in a little bit more color. And I am using date dots from Artbox stickers. Uh, and I am gonna be doing things slightly differently this week. So I decided to use day extenders. Uh, I got some day extenders in a Scribble Prints Co Random Acts of Kindness freebie bag. And that's like, I was saving them for this week, but then I could not find them anywhere. So I actually just made my own from just a piece of sticker paper that I had, like clear sticker paper, because I do print my own stickers sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes. So I just cut them and just kind of figured out how to do them. They're a little bit janky, but they worked really super well. And I really like them for a busy week. I would definitely do it again. And again, gave me plenty of extra journaling space for this week. So I really liked that. So that took me a little bit of extra time to figure out, which is one of the reasons this video is going to be a little bit longer than my usual plan with me. But the second reason is because I actually slowed this beginning part down just a little bit more so that I would have a little bit of extra time to kind of chat with you all. Uh, because this was such an amazing and such a big week. I had a baby. I had my last baby. Uh, we are not planning on having any more children, my third and final baby. And I am just going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, having the baby and, you know, everything that's gone on since then. So if that is not something you want to hear, I promise I'm not going to be in like any kind of super gory details or anything like that. Um, but if that's not something you want to hear, I will put across the screen where you can jump to to get into like the day by day uh, of the spread. But anyway, those are the date extenders that I was talking about that I made. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this is the week that I had my baby, my very, hopefully very last baby. We're not, like I said, we're not planning on having any more. Uh, three is more than enough for us, but I was like the whole last week and the beginning of this week, I just pretty much was just like so over being pregnant and just waiting for this baby to come and just like growing increasingly frustrated and then just trying to like be calm, you know, baby's going to come whenever she comes. And this is, I, each of my pregnancies was actually longer than the previous one. So my first was born at 38 weeks. My second was 39 weeks and one day. And this one was like 39 weeks and four days. So each pregnancy has been a little bit longer than the previous one, but I still never saw a due date uh, in, my, in my three pregnancies. But anyway, I like 
pretty much had a, I, oh my gosh, I'm in labor moment like every day this week. I swear that just always happens like at the end of pregnancy. Uh, but so on Tuesday night, I was having contractions in the middle of the night and I thought, okay, this is it. But then I went back to sleep and they went away. And then on Wednesday, the same thing happened, except for that when I went back to sleep, they did not go away. And eventually they started waking me up. And then I was just kind of sleeping in between contractions. Uh, so I was like, I knew that I was in, you know, the early stages of labor then, but I just was in no rush to go to the hospital and like, just, you know, just, just trying to stay calm. And I kept thinking, oh, maybe I'm not in labor. Maybe I am. It was like, oh, you know, it's very much like a mind, a mind game with my first, uh, I actually, my water broke and it broke rather dramatically. So that is like, 100% you know you're having this baby Um, and also one I was only 38 weeks pregnant and it was my first so I was not expecting it and two my daughter was a footling breach which means you're not you you need to have a c-section because it's like a very dangerous kind of delivery and we couldn't get her to flip and I was actually supposed to have a second uh, external version which is when they try and spin the baby that morning so I was like no I don't want to be in labor so but you know baby's gonna come when they come and I did end up having a uh, emergency c-section with my first and then I've had a two V-backs now. I had one with my son and another one with my last daughter, which has been a really wonderful and like gratifying experience. I'm really grateful for modern medicine and for C-section and great doctors, etc. for my daughter because it was a, a pretty dangerous delivery and uh, it was like a very intense experience because she was quite stuck and they couldn't get her out and they weren't sure if like they were going to have to break her leg or not to get her out, um, which thankfully they didn't end up having to do, but it was like a very dramatic delivery um, versus my second two, which were, you know, much more routine and easy uh, deliveries and, you know, not never felt like dangerous or anything like that. Um, and we're just really, you know, just very very calm, ex- more calm experience. I mean, it's not calm, it's still labor. And I had two unmedicated uh, <laughs> VBAC, so I was not, I didn't have any epidural or anything like that. So definitely like calm is not the right word, but just not, it never felt like, you know, dramatic or, or dangerous or anything like that. I guess labor is always a little bit dramatic. Anyway, so this time uh, my labors, even between my two uh, VBACs, my, my son and my daughter were both st- still very different. Labor started differently and just felt very different. This time the baby was honestly so low that like I it just felt so different than with my son um, just because of how low she was sitting like contractions felt very different and I felt very unsure Uh, and with my son we had actually gone to the hospital too soon after getting some confusing advice on the phone and I and got sent home so this time around I really didn't want to be sent home from the hospital so we ended up waiting kind of probably a little bit too long and my daughter was born just over an hour after we got to the hospital they hadn't finished like checking me in um and like doing all of the triage stuff because they're <laughs> and they had to just stop doing it to set up for the delivery I mean it worked out fine and everything was healthy and my midwife was with me like the whole time we were at the hospital because it's it was like that's the kind of practice that I was at uh and you know she was you know calling the shots and, and leading everything and so it was totally fine um and like you know we got there in time to deliver and stuff but like they had to finish like my triage information after the baby was born which was kind of funny um and you know people have been like teasing my husband at work that like we we cut it so close because he I actually had sent him to work in the morning because because I felt so unsure and then I called him back like two hours later and then he people were like oh when did you go to the hospital and they're like wait wasn't the baby born like an hour later and they were like yeah so anyway that was that was kind of uh our fun and exciting thing but it's uh, for me I would rather be in the hospital as little time as possible so it worked out really well and like I kept saying with my son the first time when we went to the hospital and got sent home when I got in the car I knew we had made a mistake and this time when I got in the car like and I had that first contraction in the car I was like oh, we waited too long. And I was like, really like, oh my gosh, don't have the baby in the car. But it was fine. We were, I wasn't like close to that or anything. Both For both of them, my labors have gone really, really fast at the end. Like it takes me kind of a while to get like into labor, like spend a while in early labor. But then like once I'm there, uh, you know, when I got to the hospital, I was six centimeters dilated. And like I said, my daughter was born like an hour later. And the other really fantastic thing about like subsequent uh, deliveries when you've already had one is that uh, 
there's not a lot of pushing and baby comes very quickly so I only had to push like two and a half times and the baby was out which was amazing Uh, I didn't I pushed for like 30 minutes with my son so not terrible um but it was just like a really chill experience and also my midwife did not break my water before I started pushing and and so my water broke while I was delivering the baby which was like a really weird and cool experience and the nurse was like super into it because it's not something that uh, happens very often in the hospital setting anymore so uh, it was just a really cool experience we had a really great hospital experience again with both all three of my kids have been born at different hospitals we've had pretty good experiences with all of them and then we were able to leave after just one day which is really nice which we wanted uh, so that we could come home uh, and be with our family and be with the other kids and baby is doing super super well you'll see a bunch of appointments this week she was a bit jaundiced we've been like cleared from all the protocol we didn't have to do lights or anything but we did have to come back for some some subsequent tests just to make sure everything was okay but she is doing a fantastic and gaining weight and we are settling in as a family of five wow I can't believe that five Uh, anyway on the day by day so first thing I did was like mark down the school days my kids actually went to school on Thursday too this week I just called the school in the morning and was just like hey I'm in labor can my kids come in for an extra day and they were like of course no problem but I wanted to mark that like special um, one because it's amazing of our school to do that and then two uh, it was actually pajama day at school too so I marked that wanted to mark that differently but I couldn't decide how to do it like while I was doing this beginning part so I'd do it on the day by day but anyway so on Monday the kids do have school I am experimenting with zooming in for this one so hopefully you guys like that I've been watching so many plan with me's lately like while I've been nursing and hanging out and whatever and even at the end of my pregnancy and I just like the way it looks when people zoomed in so I decided to go ahead and give it a try for this week uh, let me know what you think in the comments below but anyway so the kids had school on Monday I did my regular like work thing which was really great because uh, last year February was a really high commissions month so I will get paid my commissions for the whole month of February on that work thing so I was really happy for that part of it at least even though I didn't want to be pregnant anymore and then I just filmed and edited and uploaded like I was like I said I was just didn't want to like take on any multi-day projects I was just kind of you know trying to do things and just you know be ready for baby so I just literally filmed edited did the voiceover and uploaded all in one day which I literally like I never do that for plan with me's uh, or if really for anything just because it's a lot of work but I wanted to have that that was for like the last week's video um, all set up and then I cleaned up the house I just like tidied and put stuff away and you know just I don't know I was like in a very like getting things ready kind of mode uh, which I've kind of been for weeks but it's like it comes in like in bursts and then you get so tired that you can't really do anything Um, but so that's basically what happened on Monday and then I oh my gosh on Monday afternoon I was like laying on the couch and the kids were watching TV and then I just really I thought my water broke I like didn't even want to get up because I thought I was so wet so I sent my daughter to get a towel for me and then I like called my mom and my husband and told them my water broke and then I stood up and I was totally dry I like don't know what happened it was such a I was like so I don't even know what happened, but it was a really funny moment. And then I was just like texting my mom and my my husband. I was like, actually, never mind. (laughs) Anyway, on Tuesday, uh, my daughter has school. Uh, My son does not. And I actually took my son for a walk in the stroller. And then we went to pick up library books. I was going to walk to the library, which is super close by. But uh, it was it looked like it was going to rain and it actually did. So we went for a walk before it rained because it was warm. But uh, the library wasn't open then. So then we just drove over to the library and I had picked up some library books one of which I actually finished this week Uh, and then while my son was napping I took a nap and then I washed my hair and styled it Uh, I have like this I have this well I don't need to have it anymore this fear of like going into labor and having my hair be curly uh, because I have curly hair and it getting like so so knotted from labor and after um, and like my mom told me that once she was at a salon and somebody was having to get knots cut out of their hair uh, because for after having like a, like a pretty like thrashy labor I guess anyway so I like my to have my hair straight before the baby comes and then I wore it in a tight French braid for both of well actually for all three times that I had the kids um, and then I that night I worked on like monthly spreads I decided to do the you know the line a day to go back and convert my line a day thing that I do in my bullet journal into the 
like the thing a day monthly memory spreads. So I did January on Wednesday um, and I really liked how it turned out. I had a kit from CD stickers uh, that I had bought like a really long time ago and never used. So I just did that and it was really, it, it worked really nicely. And then like I said, I thought I went into labor that night. I had like a bunch of contractions in the middle of the night. It kept me up for a couple of hours. But then when I finally did fell asleep, fell back asleep, they they just went away. Um, and then the kids had school on Wednesday again. And that day I actually just worked on my cloud. And I just kind of, I feel like I was moving so slowly and just like not like it took me so much longer than it usually does to do setup stuff. And it's actually not quite finished yet. I like ran out of um, laminating pouches. So I had to order more. And then like, when it came, I just messed up this one dash. So I have to like remake this one dash. And then I decided I wanted to use some of the new Simply Gilded Rainbow stuff that I have coming in the mail. So I'm just waiting for that. But then my cloud will be done. It's just one last dash sleeve that I'm working on. Uh, and but so I'm using these stickers from Artbox stickers that are all like these setup planner and uh, script and like a bunch of planner doodles and stuff that I had gotten I think either as a freebie or in a grab bag or one of each but I think they're so cute uh so that's pretty much all I did all day my husband came home from lunch that day actually he was like I feel like he was like kind of checking on me he comes home for lunch a lot because he works pretty close by but uh I think I felt like after like I thought my water broke on Monday and then I was having contractions on Tuesday. So then we were both kind of like, eh. and then that night I watched, uh, to all the boys I loved too on Netflix, which I thought was cute. It wasn't as good as the first one, but I thought I did think it was cute. Um, and I had another planning session. I actually did the February monthly spread, which I actually used a simply gilded sticker kit. There's a picture of that on my Instagram. I'm so obsessed with how it comes out, how it came out. And I say this all the time, like whenever I mention the simply gilded stickers, but I like never know how to use them. I never use them in my weeklies or anything like that. Um, so I was really happy to find a way to use them. And I would definitely do that again for another monthly spread. It just looks so cool. Uh, and I used the Euro gem one, which was, I don't remember what month that was from. Um, but it's like all the, the gemstone ones. And plus it's got mixed metals, which I actually used mixed metals and didn't hate it. It's like hollow and rose gold. Uh, and I, I really like the spread, but I, I'm still not a huge fan of mixed metals, but it does look really, really nice when I like pulled all this stuff from that kit in and I used the washies that came with that and like all that stuff so it, it's really cool looking and it was a really cool month uh, and I did everything except for I left the last couple of days month blank and then I went back and finished them uh, sort of after they were done and which would ended up being like a very exciting couple of days since it was the last few months of the days I literally have a baby the next day after the day I planned that <laughs> uh, anyway uh, so then on Thursday again I this was like this was my day my labor day uh, having a baby uh, so yeah I what I was like trying to figure out how I wanted to mark this and I did use the day extenders on the sidebar on Thursday Friday and Saturday uh, just to have extra space so I was in labor I woke up in the middle of the night and my contractions didn't go away when I went to sleep as I mentioned uh, sort of in the beginning part and then I was able the kids were able to go to school extra even though they don't usually go on Thursdays because our school is so sweet and so flexible and amazing uh, so they had an extra school day and it was also pajama day at school so they got to wear their pajamas to school which they were super excited about we didn't we like didn't really say anything to them uh before they left for school I mean not that my son is only two he doesn't know the difference um but my daughter she would like totally get that but I didn't I did we didn't tell her anything we were just like oh, I just I was still feeling very like I didn't want to jinx it and then I sent my husband to work actually so I'm using a laptop to mark that he only went in for a couple of hours but I was just didn't know how long it was going to be and I just I, I, I prefer to like kind of labor by myself anyways it's not I don't really like need someone's hand to hold or anything like that I just kind of get in my own head or whatever uh, so anyway I just sent him to work for a little bit and just told him I would call him back when he when I needed him to and then I'm just using one of these clever gal crafts uh heart flags to mark that I just labored at home for a while uh and I my parents were both like texting me and calling me nonstop during this because I had told my mom because we weren't sure if we would need her 
to come over before school or not. Uh, and I, I, they were like both driving me crazy because I was just like, I just want to chill and get through this. So I just had to like kind of put my phone away because they were both like, oh, are you at the hospital yet? Are you at the hospital yet? When's this baby coming? And I was just like, I love you. And I know that my mom has to like pick up my kids and whatever from school and it's going to stay over and stuff. But I, I don't know anything. I will let you know after the baby's born. <laughs> anyway, I uh, then I like called my husband back from work around like maybe like 10 or 10 30 or so. I was just like, um, you should come home now. I'm not quite ready to go to the hospital, but I think you should come home. So he came home and I just tried to rest for a little bit longer and you know, whatever. And was also just kind of like feeling like we should probably go to the hospital, but also feeling like I didn't want to be sent home. So I was like trying to wait as long as possible at the same time. Uh, so a little bit of a, a an internal argument um, there. And I then I put this ombre heart checklist, which is actually from a different Scribble Prince Co. kit, because this is just the mini kit, but it's from like an older ultimate kit that I had uh, that matched fairly well. And it's also like, you can't see it. So uh, I did put that down and I was used that as journaling space to write kind of like my, an abbreviated version of my labor story. And then I grabbed that She's Here. That's from the Scribble Prince Co. sampler as well. And then that little onesie is from Magic uh, Prince Co. So anyway, I used that to mark like going to the hospital and having the baby. Uh, and then we moved to postpartum around kind of like 5 p.m. Like, like I said before, my daughter was born at 1.51 p.m. Uh, and... Um, and we moved to postpartum around 5 p.m. It was pretty busy at the hospital, so they were waiting for our room to open. And then once we got settled into our room, we FaceTimed the kids. We were not planning on having them visit at the hospital since, one, I was hoping for a 24-hour discharge, which I did end, up, did end up getting, and two, it was such a disaster last time around when we did it, so we just decided to skip it. So we just FaceTimed them, and they could see the, sis the, see the baby sister, as they call her, and my mom was staying with them, and it was, it was nice. Uh, and then we got some take out for dinner because the food at the hospital was absolutely horrendously horrible uh, and the only meal we ate at the hospital was like the one right after I gave birth and I was just like nope okay so anyway so we got some takeout sandwiches that night and then I just you know had a little bit of extra space so I put in that cuddle time and I just pretty much had baby snuggles that whole night I tend to be pretty charged up after like giving birth and have a hard time getting to sleep so I didn't really get to sleep until later that night uh, until like after the adrenaline and stuff had worn off but so anyway on Friday my kids had school my mom took them to school she had stayed overnight and then that was like our hospital day uh, so I just using that sort of scribble prints go little feet in the clever gal crafts heart to kind of mark that and then my mother-in-law who lives super close to the hospital she came over to the hospital and brought us like some breakfast sandwiches uh and like literally even the oatmeal at the hospital was terrible like seriously they they couldn't make oatmeal um that's how bad the food was and so she brought us some breakfast sandwiches and met the baby this is her sixth grandbaby which is kind of crazy and uh, my parents now have four so uh, the three of which are from us. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, it's like really fun grandparents time. And then I actually was like, I skipped the, um, the, the underside of the box for now. And I, cause I wanted to do like the part that would show on the kit first. Cause at this point I realized I was running out of boxes, uh, because this was a mini kit. I think next time if you I was planning on using day extenders. I would probably want a full kit or to have like more extras pulled in. Um, but like generally speaking, an SPC mini kit with the labeler, with the label add-on is like more than enough for me, but just using all of the day extenders because I did use three in the spread. So uh, that was a little bit more than I could handle. Anyway, so that afternoon, late afternoon, we went home from the hospital. Like I said, we did, we were able to get the 24 hour discharge, although we did have to go back for some more labs because uh, the baby's bilirubin numbers were just a little bit high. Uh, and then we got home and both my parents were there and also just the kids. And it was just a little bit of kiddo overload and everything overload with uh, getting home from the hospital and everything. And then we got like chicken takeout for, for dinner from like this amazing uh, Peruvian chicken place. Um, but that was nice. And then I'm putting a other um like journaling uh ombre heart checklist on the top part of that to just write you know my sort of journaling about being in the hospital and coming home from the hospital and uh like 
I don't know. I, I feel like the pediatricians that work in the, that like round on the hospital when you don't see like your pediatrician because my pediatrician doesn't round there, they can be like a little bit, you know, overzealous with some of the things that they recommend. And then when you get to your pediatrician, it's like way more calm, which is uh, it happened with my daughter, nothing with my son, but then, and and then again with this daughter, with the, with the Billy numbers, it was kind of the same thing. But anyway, um, then the, that day we also had takeout lunch. So I'm kind of like circling back to the middle of the day. Now we had takeout lunch. The baby had to have some extra labs done because of the Billy Rubin. And we had a little bit of trouble leaving because of that. Not like much. They, it just took a little bit longer than they were originally expecting for us to get our discharge. And then we drove home with our new baby. Uh, and then on to Saturday, <laughs> because, you know, nothing can ever be easy. My daughter got really sick in the middle, of, well, not in the middle of the night, I guess, but in like kind of the wee hours of the morning. Uh, so I am up with the baby and my husband is up with my daughter who was, uh, you know, a little bit tummy, tummy sick, if you will, uh, in the middle of the night, poor thing. I'm, we're not, still not sure if it was like a quick 24 hour bug or if it was just like all the excitement plus all the sugar that the grandparents had given her or what. But so anyway, she was sick in the middle of the night and into the morning and the baby actually actually didn't sleep too badly, you know, for a newborn anyways. And then we had been planning on like kind of doing this all together as a family, but my, we were just like, this is not happening. So my mother-in-law actually came over early, really early Saturday morning because we had to go back to the hospital with the baby to get another lab done. Uh, but we did not want to like, even though we knew it was only going to take like 10 minutes, we didn't want to bring the kids with us just because my daughter, uh, we weren't sure if she was sick or not. So we went to the hospital labs and then we went right from there to a, the pediatrician who was gracious enough to see us on Saturday to facilitate our 24 hour discharge because they want you to go like right the next day. And then that afternoon we all took naps. And then that like after nap time on Saturday, honestly, I like coming home Friday night and Saturday morning felt like very overwhelming with all the kids and everything. But after Saturday afternoon, things really like turned a corner and I just feel like it, it's gone. It's gone really well, much better since that knock on wood. But anyway, so then again, I wanted to just do the Sunday first since I was running out of box um, on Sunday morning. We just had like a super slow morning. We were trying to decide what to do. My daughter was like feeling better or wasn't ever sick, just was like sugar, whatever. But we just weren't sure what we wanted to do. And I wasn't like, I was feeling physically like a little bit sore and tired and I wasn't really like up to doing anything major. Um, it's like hard to remember because you've been dismissed from the hospital, but literally the baby was like one day old, right? Like, so I, you know, I was like, okay, I did just give birth yesterday. Um, I was like mostly feeling like muscle sore. Like I, that's like the biggest thing that's like kind of surprising. I feel like it's after you have a baby, you, it's like you get like the domes, like the delayed onset muscle soreness, like from, uh, from like you had done a really strenuous workout. But I did wash my hair, which I hadn't done like while we were in the hospital or anything like that. So I did, it felt really good to just like wash my hair. So I marked that down. And then we decided to just go to Panera as a family. We were, it was like kind of a weird time and we just, we needed something to do. So that was our first family outing as a family of five. We took the kids to Panera. It went super well. Uh, it was, it was really nice. And the, I, I like Panera. My husband really doesn't like it there, but it was a good place to take the kids. And then we again took a big family naps. Everybody naps and then my dad came over that night. So then I'm going back to finish Saturday uh, to do the thing, and I'm just what put this family time down and um, this thing marking that my husband ran for groceries after bed, but then I also gave the baby its first her first bath that night, um, so I wanted to mark that as well, and it was like actually her first bath because they did not bathe the baby at the hospital at all because we had a 24-hour discharge, and they usually want you to wait more than 24 hours to give the baby the first bath so that the vernix like stays on the skin and they get like that extra protection and moisturizing, uh, you know, kind of stuff from from that. So I actually did the baby's very first bath, not the nurse. So she literally, it was her legitimate, very, very first bath. So anyway, I wanted to mark that down. And that is from the Scribble Prince Go sampler again. Um, and then, like I said, my husband ran for groceries after bed. And on the upper part, I moved the family time to that upper part. And then I'm just cutting down uh, the journaling thing since I wouldn't have space for all of it. But I did have space for a too hard checklist. Uh, so I just have like a teensy bit of extra journaling space there, which I really liked. And I'm going to fill the journaling space, the journaling spaces off off camera, just because it's a lot of writing. But I really liked having that it was just really nice to do that. Um, and I, I want to like 
clip some pictures with this as well um, for when I put it away. But it's so, it's so nice to have this to like look back on. It's not like a full baby book or anything, but it's it's nice to have like the snapshot and the things you were thinking and and feeling. And it's always cool to look at your birth story, like how you felt about it right after and how you felt about it uh, sort of like, you know, six months later or whatever, because you're not going to forget it, but it's, you definitely, it's colored differently. Like when, after my son was born, they asked right after if I would go on med, go med free again. And I was like, I don't know, that hurt a lot. And then like two days later, I was like, oh, I would definitely do med free again. And I did. So I was right, I guess the second one, but it's just funny looking back on it, like how, your your perspective change. zooming you back out to finish up with the washi and a little bit of deco uh, didn't have like a ton of extra space this week obviously but i did have a couple of blank spaces where i felt like i could squeeze a little bit of washi in uh, gotta love that five millimeter washi for that uh, and and i didn't use any character stickers this week i went with all foil but if you have any questions about where anything is from uh, just let me know in the comments below i do link link everything down below in the description uh, but if you ever want to know where our sticker is from I am happy to let you know uh, and anyway that is just about everything for this spread okay that is everything all filled out I uh, did all of my journaling pieces kind of off camera I just wanted to show you what it looked like underneath the boxes all filled out because I know I did a little bit of it off camera so I just kind of have my journaling spaces over here where I wrote like kind of mini birth story uh, just some stuff about like being discharged in the hospital and the you know, the, the Billy Rubin stuff and also just coming home to the kids and everything. And then just a tiny bit of like, I felt like Saturday afternoon was really a big turning point. Um, and then just some more journaling space over there. And I did just use some of the deco of the kit um, under there. And then for the pictures, what I actually did, because I already took pictures of this spread, is I just kind of used a little bit of washi tape to hold it down. I'm assuming that once the planner is like closed and it has time to situate, it will, you know, sort of train itself down a little bit more. So I'm I'm actually going to tape this down so you can see the whole spread again and I will be right back. Okay, so that is the how that looks with the full boxes kind of all taped down so it just looks like a regular spread. I love that there's like these little hidden memories in there. I definitely really liked using these, uh, the day extenders, although mine were a little bit janky. I would maybe buy some more, but I would also probably just make them myself um, just because they are really easy to make and you could get like out of like one sheet of sticker paper, you can get like so many of them. I think like one vertical strip gave me two, so you could probably get like, I don't know, at least 10 out of a sticker, a sheet of sticker paper. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed using them and definitely would do it again on like another like super busy week or super meaningful week, etc. I don't think I need it for every day, but certainly, you know, the week that I had a baby for sure. Um, anyway, I love how this looks. I'm so happy I saved this kit for baby week. I'm so happy I had all the extra full boxes. Uh, let me show you what I have left in the kit. It's funny because I have so many full boxes left in this kit, but I have like no stuff left in this kit to like do another spread uh, with if I wanted to because I just used so much. So I think probably I could have used the ultimate kit this week, which like I never needed SPC ultimate kit. Like I literally used everything on the label thing. I literally have one, one little thing and one full box left. That's it. Um, I didn't use the flags, but I used a bunch of Clever Gal Crafts flags again. And I have mostly what I have left here is a ton of full boxes uh, and a little bit of glitter and some of the sidebar stuff and a little bit of deco. Yeah, so mostly what I have left is full boxes, um, but they were such pretty full boxes and I am really, just really love how this turned out. This was obviously the most amazing week. Uh, I had a baby, so yeah. Uh, I did all of my writing in a Pigma Microperm 03 on the stickers because this pen does like kind of ghost really badly on the planner. So I have not been using that uh, in on the actual planner. And then I did my writer writing on the planner in a Pigma Micron 03. I hope you didn't mind that this video was a little bit longer. I just had so much goodness to share with you this week. Anyway, if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye!